Yo guys, we're at the shop. And one thing that I don't think I've told you is that my dad is a smoker. Now by a smoker, not quite exactly what you think. Uh, the kind of smoking I'm talking about is meat. And he just bought this new smoker. This is a thousand gallon smoker. And this was made by a company called Custom Metal Products. Uh, I don't know if he has a YouTube channel, but I do know that he has a Facebook site and everything like that. I will just tell you, there is a lot of really interesting things going on with this smoker. Um, my dad doesn't even know it, but I'm making this video and I'm sure he'll see it later. I don't actually run smokers, but there is a bunch of stuff that uh, me personally, I'm going to change and help him with this. And he's also asked for a few specific things. Um, if you guys make smokers, build smokers, anything like that, maybe you'll get some ideas of what to fix, what to change, uh, how to do things a little different to make it a little bit more user friendly. Uh, the first thing that we can go over with, I am five foot ten. My dad is six foot tall. Yes, I can reach the top of this, but this top right here, I will show you when Alex is here in the morning of how to get this to fold down. But these, you have to pick up and then slide, and then it will fold all the way back down and clip into place. Um, it's a great idea, but again, like I said, I'm going to figure out something to do uh, and how to help ease that. My dad's 60, going to be 61 here pretty quick. And uh, he's got shoulder problems, all sorts of stuff. I'm short. I really can't help him all that much. And even when I step on something to help me get up there, it's still heavy and it's still hard. So we're going to figure out something like that. Um, now, this is brand new. Um, the paint... We picked this thing up in uh, BB, Arkansas. It is 12 and a half hours one way, and that is when you don't hit nasty, terrible, horrible weather. So we hit nasty rain on the way down there, and on the way home, we drove the entire way home through rain, other than when we got to Northern Illinois and Southern Wisconsin, where we hit anywhere between six to 10 inches of snow. So that was pretty miserable. Um, the other thing, this is nothing that he did wrong, but this plate was on here. My dad doesn't like the color, so he wants me to take care of that and repaint it. Now, as you guys can see, there is rust that is starting all over. Now, we just pulled this out. And some of the frame that you can see I know the lighting is terrible under there but um, it's just gonna all get repainted now as for some more things that we're gonna fix I can't even remember what style grill this is but he uses it I just eat the food he cooks on it um, Right here, you can see on the gauge, it's uh, all foggy and has moisture in there. We're going to take these out, get True Glow gauges in there so they don't have that issue. Um, one of the nuts fell off on here. Now, this is a pretty ingenious idea. And well, I'll open this first. As you rotate, It will lock into place and it raises the grill. Now, all fine and dandy except for all these edges are very sharp. Um, if they were going to be left with this cutout, I would say to at least grind them down and you know round the edges off. What we're gonna do, I think, is try to mount a handle so that you're actually holding a handle 
rather than the metal pieces there because of the fact that it's sharp. Uh, just uncomfortable, even when you grab it just now, it's very uncomfortable to go and go from there. Um, we have a deep fryer here and this will shoot a flame into here. That box, again, it's hard to see, but this is the flame box. This is the exhaust. If you see, it says hot on there. Very uh, great idea. I don't think we're going to change anything about that. It seems to be working great. But what we will be doing is taking and mounting some of the wires a little bit better than what they are. Now, we have all the grills here. No issues there. Uh, we do have some spots to put some extra jacks. Um, here are the deep fryer baskets. There is extra storage. All these kind of slide out. It is a great idea. I will say the only thing that worries me um, is that you can't put too much in it because this is the tongue. I don't need all of that tongue weight on there, but you got to do what you got to do. Um, I am not a fan of this hitch whatsoever. It is not adjustable. It is welded right onto the frame, not bolted onto it. And also this hitch here is to me garbage. It belongs on a snowmobile trailer and the foot on it is very short. Now I do have a lifted truck. It is kind of a pain in the butt, um, but even on my other trucks, it doesn't sit properly without a gigantic uh, drop, which is perfectly fine. I'll get a drop, um, but the other thing is, is we tried to put a wheel on it today, and it didn't hold. Um, it is very heavy, very tongue heavy, and we're going to put a heavy duty tongue jack on there and then we'll get a heavy duty wheel um other than that up front the other thing where it says custom metal products that's his logo there we're going to take that off we're going to paint that and make that the copper color as well uh all the handles here open her up it's got all the racks now this is not seasoned or anything like that we haven't done that because he wants to finish painting everything and get it all kind of back up to where it should be now again you can kind of see underneath here where a lot of the weather hit it and you know the fre the paint was fairly fresh but i mean still it's just This is brand new. So we're going to put some Cora Seal on some stuff, get everything figured that way. Oh, get it all done. Again, all the gauges. Um, we will change out to True Glow gauges. Um, we do have some tables in the back. I know it's kind of hard to see right now. I'll move this. But these tables here flip up, and then usually this would be welded right on, but it broke during transit. So these are pretty simple right down, and there's a little piece they just sit in. Nice and sturdy, all of that, but going to fix some of that stuff and like i said just kind of take care of a lot of little stuff that you know this is great 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 job on a lot of the welds i don't have anything to complain about that the guy we picked this up from super great i'm not trying to say anything bad whatsoever he did great on it um there's just a lot of little stuff that would make this thing absolutely way easier to handle and operate and make it a little bit more user friendly, especially for uh, somebody, you know, my height and shorter or somebody who is getting a little bit uh, older, like my father. So 
we're going to clean it up, get everything all done, repaint it, take care of it, and uh, definitely let you know how it goes. And then hopefully at the mini golf course this year, you can cook me some lunch. But check out the next video. We'll show you guys all what we did, and we'll probably time lapse it just to make it a little bit different. And uh, I'll catch you guys then. We'll catch up then.